it. I'm like awesome. a five year old kid again. <laughs> that was awesome. This is the best toy. We'll do a check in with the wife here. Yeah, so what do you think? Should I do my solo? Well, yes, of course you should. <laughs> okay, all right. So yeah, I'm cleared for takeoff. Any words? Don't use full throttle, you're only 130 pounds. Yeah, he's just a little he's guy. With us. Yeah, I've been trying to put weight on him, let him hang out with me, eat what I eat, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he's still 130 pounds, so Everyone no full throttle. <laughs> And here comes Wes, has been doing the other training. They've been kind of tag team in this one. He's got his video camera ready to go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm gonna practice my panic button. Go around! <laughs> go around! <laughs> So here at Zephyr Hills, we have a little bit of a busy airport. We have ones that look like ultralights. Then we have regular airplanes. And then, what in the world? We have jets. here today in Zephyr Hills on September 20th, 2022. Very nice. Here's Carl on a solo flight, September 20th, 2022. I'm just seeing my feet over the horizon. <laughs> I'm looking up here. I can't even, it's like I can't even see my gauges because I'm just back in the seat looking up. That second climb out you did, uh, you punched full throttle too, didn't you? I did. Yeah, that's some power, huh? Yeah. A wow. power that you have not felt before. <laughs> in a that trike. was incredible. <laughs> you did. I'm like awesome. a five year old kid again. <laughs> that was awesome. This is the best toy. On the first one, you were like off the ground in like two seconds. I could have launched quicker. Wes, thank you for the help. Yeah. Congratulations. And all the good instruction. Yeah. So uh, you trained in a Revo. Yeah. Trained in a Revo with these two guys. Yeah, but let's Incredible back up. instruction. Yeah, but let's let's back up now. So you trained in uh, you trained in a different trike and you got an ultralight and you soloed that. Tell us about that. 
you know, I don't want to say much about the the instruction and how it really didn't compare, but the truth is, this was such a better transition and more understandable with your landing approach and everything. It, it really, it was the same thing, just half speed. So yeah. tell us about your first solo and your first ultralight. This is before you got a RevX or anything else. So you, the instruction you said was probably maybe lacking. Yeah. And so this uh, solo flight went how? Well, I didn't have hardly any time to taxi, so I jumped in and didn't really even feel comfortable in it. Uh, flew in a pattern at 700 feet and really got blown around. And uh, that's why I say it was nerve wracking. And uh, you know, this this was like just sitting on a couch with a with a beer and watching a football game <laughs> when they're winning your team is winning so it was it was really nice yeah that that first one it really made me second guess do i want to fly or not yeah. after that and that was it then i took it home and i had worse conditions at home uh, that i ended up in after i took off and again that was very nerve-wracking because i really didn't know how to coordinate turns and and didn't know it at the time so then training with you guys i learned a lot more about the coordination and the turn which makes me feel so much secure and and uh, knowledgeable you know as a pilot i feel like i i have the knowledge to fly this no matter what happens yeah. you can go ahead and kill the engine on me i don't care no. uh didn't somebody just do that this morning yeah he did great <laughs> kill the engine on him said, see <laughs> you can land without an engine yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it worked great. It flies just like a Revo, but half speed. How about half the speed. like the control pressures? Oh, super light. Wow. It was so nice and smooth up there, the flying ability. Yeah. We yeah, saw you winging I, it around up there. Yeah, just a little bit, and it was so That's easy. Awesome. I literally felt more comfortable in this than the Revo. Mm -hmm. And that's in the first five minutes? In the first minute. As soon as I did a crosswind. As soon as my <laughs> attitude was so I could see the horizon better and not your toes, out, I could have easily been over a thousand feet by the end of the runway. Oh yeah, yeah, easy. And so tell people uh, how is it flying without this front strut? So that's that's new, right? It's totally new. I thought it'd maybe be a little nerve wracking, but it really wasn't. It better view, so it is just so nice and open, and it was smooth and. So what you don't know at home is we had radio trouble, which turned out to be my squelch was set too high, his squelch was set too high, yeah. and by the time he got down to the hold short line, we couldn't communicate. So we brought him back, and uh, the short of it is, what time is it right now? It is 9:30. 9:30 in the morning, and the wind's starting to blow. We got a good, lots of no cloud cover, so the thermals are building. So you just did your solo in this RevX in fairly, I'm not gonna say uh, aggressive conditions, but the smooth air is long gone about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. And yep. so that's really impressive that you were, and we felt confident, you were really, really well prepared with the way. It just, it was just nice and soft and smooth. And there was a few bumps, but it was not an issue. Yeah. It just, you get a little bumping right back to where you were. And so, I would say now I have 13, 14 hours in. Okay. Yeah, with Before us, I so about 24 with you guys. total. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right now, with all the experience that I have, I feel like I could go up in that 15 mile an hour crosswind in this, in this trike. You know, if I ended up in that, I wouldn't go just do it. But I feel like I could handle it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be afraid. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to learn more about trikes or already fly trikes, check out trikeaction.com where the action is. For more information on these aircraft, including prices, please check out evolutiontrikes.com.